everybody, it's Erin. I'm doing a December favorites. Uh, we're just a couple days into January, so Happy New Year. Um, but I have a lot of stuff to show you, so I just want to get right to it. Uh, as usual, we'll start with some beauty stuff and uh, move on into like the house stuff and jewelry and that kind of thing. So, uh, first up is I'm going to go with my lipsticks. I have three lipsticks this month. Love them all. Um, I probably have talked about them in other videos or on my blog, but uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is actually the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, this is actually a lipstick from MAC. It's called SISS, S-I-S-S, -S -S, and this is the color. You can see that there. Uh, I'm wearing it right now. It's like a neutral color, except it's a little more brown than what I normally wear. That's what I like about it. Um, I just think it's a lovely color. The shade, it's it kind of is like a fall neutral color, and it's a little bit uh, darker, like I said, than the ones I normally wear. Um, just I've been loving this one so much lately. So that's Sis by Mac. Uh, in the same kind of color family, but a different product. It's YSL, so Yes Saint Laurent, and the lipstick is um, it's a Rouge Volupte. I can never say that, but anyways, it's the color number two. Uh, this is an absolute treat. If there's one lipstick you're ever going to treat yourself to, and it's not cheap, it's very expensive, however, and it's the only one I do have, but, oh, it's such a treat. Okay, so this is, it looks like this comes in the most beautiful packaging ever. I mean, would you not love to pull that out of your purse and apply it? Like, I felt, I feel so, like, sassy and French or something when I, I don't know. I don't know why I associate that with French, but anyways, it looks beautiful. This is the color, number two. And if I swatch it, I don't know if you can pick that up on the light from, like, there it is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a light pink, and it smells like watermelon or something. Um, it has a very, very light, kind of fresh smell. I just love it. I love it, love it. Now, if I compare the two, I just grabbed Sis, and if I compare the two for you... This is Sis here, so it's a little bit browner, and then this one is the number two uh, YSL lipstick. So, very similar, but you can tell that Sis is a lot more brown than the YSL. I absolutely love them. So, it's definitely a big treat, that YSL. Third lipstick up is actually a red one. It's Chris it was Christmas and party season. I rocked red lips all month long. Um, this one is called Spice It Up by MAC, and it's like that. It's kind of like a... It's not quite a, it's a red, obviously, but it's not really, it's more like a brownish red. Um, it's not like my, you know, really bright red lipstick, my Russian red that I absolutely adore. Uh, this one just toned it down a bit so I could wear it more almost to the office and that kind of stuff. Um, I found I wore this quite a bit for an everyday kind of lipstick. It just dressed my, my outfit up and made me feel like I was holiday ready. So, those are my three lipsticks I loved. Another thing that I got from MAC, uh, it's a paint pot in the color Constructivist, and this is the color it looks like. So it's like a dark brown, bronzy look. Anyways, with paint pots, normally you smooth all over your eye. I have been using this, and I'm actually wearing it right now, as an eyeshadow, so I don't know if you can see that there, but you just put this on, and look how beautiful that is. Like, it's like a bronzy... Oh, it's just stunning. Anyways, it's kind of hard for me to show you my swatch, but it, the only thing is, it's kind of tough to get on so when and you don't want it all over your eye like I have it just on the bottom I had to start using a brush with it um I use my finger to blend it out but you need a brush to start putting it on just so you get it in the right location that you want it and you don't want it all over your eyes so um that's the only thing is it took a little practice to get used to but once I did get used to it I'm absolutely loving it and it's like an everyday shadow um stays on all day long and I'm loving it so that was uh my one of my favorite eyeshadows Another new product to me, and I was always so intimidated by this, is um, long wear gel eyeliner. So any kind of gel eyeliner at all. This is by Bobbi Brown, and it's in the black ink. What have I been waiting for? I don't know if I'll ever go back to pencil eyeliners. Maybe for my waterline, but that is it. This stuff is magic. Like... Okay, so it just looks like a little... It almost looks like a paint pot, but um, you, it just comes. It's like a solid thing. I do recommend you get a really good brush. This is actually the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner. And as you can see, it has a really fine tip. Like, it's really thin. And basically, all you do is you take this, put a little bit of your, of your, uh, of the gel in, and you just draw a line. And honestly, I cannot believe how easy it is to apply. I did not know why I was so worried about this before, but absolutely love this stuff and this brush is magical like 
totally worth them. I think it was 20 bucks, 25 bucks for the brush and then the gel liner I think was 30. So altogether like 50 bucks for the two. But this pot will last me forever. And this brush is just heaven to put on. And I've mixed it up with my other gel liners because I've started an obsession now with gel liners. And this brush works heavenly on those two. So just saying, totally love it. Go get yourself. Try it out. I do love it. Um, a couple more things. Hand cream wise, um, this is by Love and Toast. And this has been my girlfriend Morgan. I have to throw a shout out to her. She's the one who had this. She received it as a gift. And it took some tracking down to, for me to get it, but it's awesome. So it's Love and Toast. Um, it's a hand cream and it's Pomme Pover. So apple pepper. Okay, and this is what the bar, it comes in like a little metal tube. And the smell. I don't even know how to explain it. It definitely smells like apple and pepper. Like it's. Go figure. But it's like kind of a spicier apple smell. I just love it. We just, oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. So, um, again, that's Love and Toast, apple, pepper, pomme pouvre, if you want to go the French route. I'm probably butchering that to death, but oh well. Uh, this is more for your skin and your face, this next thing. It's Mario Badeshu, and it is the skincare drying lotion. So it comes in a bottle like this. And if you can see here, if I turn it around, there's a hair on it, it has pink lotion at the bottom, and then there's like a clear kind of oily looking substance. So what you do with this, this is to dry out pimples. And this stuff is really great, not when you've picked them, which I tend to do, I know, bad Erin, but um, this is more for like when you feel one coming on and you just, like I feel one on my chin right now and it's gonna, I'm drying it out, I'm not gonna touch it. So you take a Q-tip, you do not shake this liquid. You dip your Q-tip right down into the pink and pull it back out and then you just dab that on and leave it overnight, you wash it off in the morning, your pimples dried right up. It's amazing, like the stuff is so good and it's good for sensitive skin too. It, I don't know, it's been pretty good. So highly recommend that, um, only if you can catch it before when you feel them coming on. What else? Okay, so this, two perfumes. Uh, these kind of, I'm cheating a bit because I just got them for Christmas. However, I've loved them. I had samples of them throughout the month and I think I've mentioned them before in other favorite videos. Two of them, Prada Candy, and it comes in a jar like that, and the Coach Poppy. This is the orange label. I really don't like the pink. It's just not, a, it's florally and I'm not a floral kind of girl, but this one, it's just fresh and kind of fruity. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So that is the orange label Coach Poppy and it looks like that. And then like I said Prada Candy which actually smells like candy to me. It's so good but like a sophisticated candy. So recommend those two. Jewelry wise, um, okay these earrings again, I'm cheating. I got these just recently but they are, for. I've worn them every day since I've gotten them. I am going to zoom in for you. Are they not just beautiful? They're by Michael Kors and zoom back out. And honestly, thank you, Fiona. I such a lovely gift. Like I so me absolutely love. So I just wanted to say thanks to you so much. Another favorites, and they're very similar to these, but a little bit different. They are my Melanie Ald, um, I don't even know what they're called, little stud earrings. Anyways, I don't even know if she sells them anymore. I think she took them off. But uh, if you guys have something similar, I wear these with everything. Like, see if I can get some light onto these. It's not really zooming. There it is. Anyways, they're so gorgeous. Little square earrings with gold um, surrounding them. I absolutely love them. You can catch me wearing between these two studs nonstop. And then the matching bracelet to that, I did treat myself. I... I just love this woman. Mel, you're just, if I was a jewelry designer, you like are in my head. Like the stuff you have is incredible and exactly me and exact, I just wish I could afford everything. I really do. So this is um, the bracelet I got. It is a treat to myself. Um, just gorgeous. I wore it almost with every Christmas outfit and sweater set, everything. Like I don't think I've taken it off. Anyways, that's what it looks like, and it matches those earrings, and I have another pair of earrings that kind of match from her as well that I got earlier. So, thanks for doing what you do. I mean, they're incredible. Um, okay, another thing I got from Thomas Sabo is a right-hand ring, and actually my girlfriend, Nikki, um, she had this on, and I had, to, I had to ask her where she got it, so I got this as a gift uh, for Christmas, but it has been on my favorites list forever. I just now own it. So it's a right-hand ring. Um, basically, it's... Anyways, can you see that? 
It's black and I love it. Thomas Sab is a really great name too. Um, sterling silver and uh, it's just gorgeous. So that's what it looks like up close. Uh, last jewelry favorite this month um, has been my bracelet. This is I like to stack this and, and wear it with like an arm party of jewelry. Um, I'll wear it with the Melanie Ald. I'll link the two together with another like plain gold necklace or sorry bracelet. This is from Banana Republic. Um, it's kind of like a purple stone, but it's hard to tell because they're so they're so dark. They could almost be black. But anyways, this is the cut. This is what it looks like, and it's just like a just a you know solid bracelet bangle. Absolutely love it. Been wearing it so much as well, and it's a perfect like party or, or bracelet to dress up with stuff. So I've been wearing that with my layers and loving that. Um, a weird product, um, health related. I'm trying to drink a lot more water. And, uh, so I wanted a bottle that I could throw into my purse and, um, yeah, just something I can just fill up on a continuous basis, but I didn't want to always have to, you know, I like drinking filtered water, um, I don't just want to drink tap water, I don't know sometimes if it's safe at certain places, so I get kind of funny about that, but this is a bobble water bottle. It looks like this. Um, I got a couple of people this for Christmas because I loved it so much. Basically, it has a filter in it. And you just fill it up, squirt it through once to clean out the filter, and then this is good for two months, and it filters tap water, so it's like a filtered water. Um, so anyways, that's what it looks like. You can replace the filter. Really cool, and it's plastic, and it bends, so it's nice size. You toss it in your in my purse, and I'm off, to, and off and ready to go. And then basically then I can uh, refill this up at anywhere, all the different, you know, just tap water, and it filters itself as I go. So I don't feel bad drinking out of this. So anyways, that is my bobble and actually I still kept the case so it comes in a case like this just to show you what it looked like and it tells you how to do it in there so anyways and it eliminates um, water bottles so it's saving the environment food product stuff okay this stuff is crazy good um, it looks disgusting but it is so good it is Bragg all-purpose soy liquid seasoning looks like this comes in a bottle like this for all you Canadian folks I can only I've only found it at Superstore in the organic aisle Get yourself some of this, you're not going to regret it. This is so good in salad dressings, and I have a couple, I'm going to post on my blog, um, one probably in the next couple days, if it's not already up, before I post this video, and uh, another one that I'm going to do maybe sometime next week. So, excellent in salad dressings, healthier for you than normal soy sauce, I think it has less sodium in it, and it's all natural. So, um, excellent stuff, this, I don't even know what to tell you about it, I just absolutely love this stuff, and it looks like that. And uh, it just gives it, it's it's just so good. It's so good. It's kind of smelly, but so good. Okay, another food product that I cannot get enough of lately is couscous. This stuff is like my wonder drug. My husband does an amazing couscous. He always puts different stuff in it, like veggies and this and that. And it's so good, even with a simple lemon squirt. It is just awesome. Like lemon juice and mix it in some veggies, like fresh veggies cut up in little pieces and then cooked this, you have yourself a delicious side dish. And it's so good for you, so easy to cook. Uh, people should be trying to cook this more. And tabbouleh and stuff like that, all made with this, so good. I might have said that funny. Tabbouleh? Tabbouleh? Anyways. Um, so anyways, there's couscous. Uh, this I just got at Costco. And basically you cook it, it's ready in like five minutes, and you throw in some fresh stuff, you're good to go. So, 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 so good. Um, last product is a house related product, kind of crazy, I've been all over the map here with these, but I'm trying to run, uh, run through them all. This stuff is Ecos Laundry Detergent. Um, it is all natural, so it's 100% earth friendly, which is great in detergents, because I mean, how many washes do we do continuously? And this smell is Magnolia and Lily, and that's what gets me. It is so fresh, so delicious, like, not delicious to eat, but delicious to smell. Oh, it's so, so good. It makes my clothes smell so lovely. I get this at Costco, but you can get it also, I think, at Walmart or, like, um, you know, probably your local drugstore or whatever. Uh, there's different kinds. This is my favorite smell, the Magnolia Lily. And this is the only one they sell at Costco, so bonus for me. It is so good. You guys go around and get some. Again, I mean... Not that I'm a huge, like, say, but every little bit counts. So, um, you know, do your part for the environment and it'll love you back. Uh, so anyways, I highly recommend this. Washes your clothes and makes themselves so good. What more could you ask for, right? That is all my favorites. I wanted to plow through this. I'm probably way over anyways. So uh, take care. Happy New Year. And we will talk very soon. Bye-bye.